Hey everyone and welcome to Windows Report and in this video I'll show you what to do if the Windows 10 or 11 apps are not opening and how to fix this issue. So the first solution that you should always take in consideration is to make sure that the Windows Update service is running. To do so, press the Windows button and simply type Services and make sure to select it from the search results. Now in here, scroll way down until you find the Windows Update service, then double click on it to open it up. In here, if the service status is set to stopped, make sure to click on the Start button and also in the Startup type, click on the drop down menu and select Automatic. Now click on Apply and OK to save the changes and you're good to go. You can check if the problem still persists. Moving on, another useful solution is to run the troubleshooter. To do so, press the Windows button, then select the settings icon. Now in here, click on System on the left pane, and then on the right side, scroll down until you find the Troubleshoot category and just click on it. Now in here, select Other Troubleshooters. And the last thing you have to do is click on the Windows Update Troubleshooter by clicking on the Run button. Windows will now try to detect any issues and fix them as soon as possible. This is very useful because it can fix a wide range of issues, even the ones that relate to your apps not opening properly on your Windows 11 computer. So let's move on to the next solution, and that is making sure that your apps are up to date. To do so, press the Windows button, then simply type Store and select Microsoft Store from the search results. Now in here, what you have to do is click on the library icon in the lower left corner and simply click on the Get Updates button. This will update all the core apps from your Windows 11 and then you can check if the issue still persists. Next in line, you can also perform a store cache reset. To do so, press the Windows button, type in CMD, then run command prompt as an administrator. Now in here, simply type the following command and press on Enter. This will reset the cache for the store app and then you can check if the issue still persists. Next in line, another useful solution is to make sure that the application identity service is running. Now to do so, press the Windows button, then simply type Services and select it from the search results. And then in here, make sure to locate Application Identity as a service and double click it. If the service status is set to stopped, make sure to click on Start. And in the Startup type drop down menu, make sure to select Automatic. Then you can just click on Apply and OK to save the changes and check if the problem still persists. And lastly, another useful solution is to run an SFC scan. To do so, press the Windows button, type in CMD, then run command prompt as an administrator. Now in here, simply type the following command, then press on Enter. Note that the scan can take a bit of time, so don't lose your patience. Afterwards, just restart your computer and you're good to go. You can check if the problem still persists. And that's it. Super simple, isn't it? Of course, if this video helped you, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more quality content. Thanks for watching.